Thank you, everyone. Um, you know, well, first of all, um, I'd like to take a moment, since this is uh, about founders, to um, acknowledge and thank and celebrate Paul Beyer for founding the Tom Tom <laughs> Festival. Five, five years. I, I, I'd like to think that I know a little bit about running film festivals. I've actually founded one in Sarasota, Florida, which became one of the largest in the southeast of the United States. I also founded the Tamarin Theater in Los Angeles, California, which now houses Amy Poehler's troupe, the Upright <laughs> Citizens Brigade. And um, the work that Paul has done here is remarkable. I understand how difficult it is to start something from scratch where there's no money, there's no volunteers, you just have a vision and a hope and a prayer that you're going to make it through your first year, you're going to make mistakes, and you're going to live to fight another day. I've lived that, and I've seen Paul live through it. So, Paul, congratulations on five years of Tom Tom and the best of success moving this festival forward. Um, so, like the Lorax speaks for the trees, I speak for the arts here. Um, they're near and dear to my heart. Uh, I serve as vice provost for the University of Virginia, vice provost for the arts there, and also, as you know, uh, the director of the Virginia Film Festival. The importance and the impact and the power on the, of the arts on our world, on our society, and our community is vast and profound. Just think about how it gets into everything that you do every day, from what you wear, to what you put on your walls at home, to what you go to see when you want entertainment. It's important, it's dynamic, it's vibrant, and it drives the local economy here. Uh, the arts are an economic driver, as you can see by the slide up here. They're important. And, and I encourage you to think of it differently as we created a creative economy here, as we have incredible companies like Willow Tree and SNL and Psychic uh, that are starting up here or continuing to flourish in this community. What is going to drive talent here to Charlottesville? Well, it's going to be this beautiful environment we live in. It's the town gown in the University of Virginia. It is the arts that are happening here. It's the breweries. It's the wineries. It's the entire package, and the arts are very, very much a part of that. Think of it. Think of this, if you're bringing people here from Austin or Charleston or San Francisco or Seattle to join in this creative economy, they're going to want to know, well, what am I going to do when I get to Charlottesville? And it's absolutely crucial that we have a, a vital and dynamic arts culture here. Now, there's other reasons for it as well, too. Uh, the last couple of years, you've seen annually nearly $115 million in direct impact of the arts on our local economy, and nearly 2,000 full-time equivalent jobs that are directly involved in the arts here. It's really, really important in driving the local economy. How many of you out here have gone to the Virginia Film Festival, or the Festival of the Book, or Tom Tom Festival, or Look Three Festival? Can I hear a chorus out there? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to just share with you anecdotally when you're out on the downtown mall during any one of those events, the restaurants and the shops are absolutely packed to the gills, and that has a huge impact on the local economy. The hotels are full. Now, the hotels are full a lot here because of football or what's going on at the university or because of leaf peeping in the, in the region, but also because of these festivals or people that travel to Charlottesville because they know they'll be in a beautiful environment and there will be something fun and creative to do and attend, a great arts event. Think of all the incredible music we have here at the Paramount Theater or at the Amphitheater or in the Southern or in the Jefferson. It's extraordinary. There's something going on here in Charlottesville that's creative and fun and dynamic all the time. The Virginia Film Festival, 32,000 attendances last year. It's extraordinary. Uh, and it continues to grow. The Festival of the Book, I believe it's its 23rd year. The, the Virginia Film Festival, 29 years. Virginia Festival of the Book continues to draw over 23,000 people on average every year. Look Three Festival, extraordinary, beautiful. When I first moved here to Charlottesville, the impact of those beautiful canvases up in the trees just sold me on Charlottesville. I was like, how cool is that on the downtown mall? And you've got these incredible photographs up there. It's stunning, beautiful, vibrant. Uh, the Tom Tom Founders Festival, which we're all a part of here today. And look, it's, it's a new festival that's really driving people energy. It's dynamic, it's important, and it's connecting UVA, 
to Charlottesville, to the creative economy, and to entrepreneurs and innovators. It's extraordinary. So these are the way the arts can have an impact. If you look at other arts uh, uh, organizations we have that are so important to our region, the Paramount Theater, Live Arts, Lighthouse, Second Street Gallery, McGuffrey Art Galleries, The Bridge PAI, they're all part of this dynamic tapestry which we're a part of. Finally, and I offer a challenge out there, if Charlottesville truly wants to be a world-class city and it wants to have world-class arts offerings, it needs to invest substantially more in arts and culture. It will further enhance Charlottesville as a destination, and I might, have, uh, I might add, having three young children in the school system, the arts are incredible learning tools. They create self-esteem, they help you learn quicker and better and more efficiently, and they're absolutely important to our children's future. So the challenge is, what would Charlottesville look like in 2025 if we did that with a stronger investment in the arts and culture? Thank you all.